Hey guys, this is DB126 here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon White 2. Alright, so in the last phase, um, we got the HM for Surf, and we've also went through the Mistralton Cave, and we've also found out that Cabalion was once there. But we can't catch Cabalion in there anymore. So anyway, today we are going to be uh, heading to the Charged Stone Cave finally, and also last phase our Dragonfly finally evolved into a Vibrava, which is really cool. Anyway, let's go inside. Alright, so here in the Charged Stone Cave, um, there are, let me see, there are four new Pokemon you can find here in the Charged Stone Cave. Um, the first one is Joltik, which is a bug and electric type. Um, it becomes a really good Pokemon when it's evolved. It's really, really good special attack and speed, but it's really frail, I guess, if you want to say that. Um, second new Pokemon you can find here is Clink. Um, we've already seen those. It's that that gear thing that's the, um, actually the first pure steel type out of any Pokemon game to have an evolution. We've seen we've actually seen Colress use one of one of those. If you guys have seen my um, video, Colress playing on his white iPad. If you guys watch that, then you'll see what Clink is. Um, the third one is um, Ferroseed, which is a grass and steel type. Um, Ferroseed has a lot, lots of attacking power and really good defense and special defense. But it, but when it evolves into Ferrothorn, it has, it gets base 20 speed, which um, Ferrothorn is actually the second slowest Pokemon out, slowest fully evolved Pokemon in the game. And last but not least, the third Pokemon you can find here in the Charged Stone Cave is Nosepass, which is a pure rock type. Um, and um, Again, it's like um, Ferroseed, but it's kind of kind of more of a special attacker, I guess. But again, it does have way more defense and special defense than Ferroseed has. And also, um, if you're using a Magneton in your team or a Nose Pass, you can catch one here. Um, then you can evolve them into both Probopass or Magnezone by using a rare candy or something. Ooh, look at that, it's Bianca. Long time no see. Did you know this? If you push the floating stones, they move! As always, this place is charged with lots of electricity that Pokemon like. That electric charges react from one stone to another, so that's why there, there are floating stones. You can push all of them, though. Oh, that's right, I came here to research something. Be seeing you! Now, um, here in the Charged Stone Cave, we are going to be seeing these rocks and here, these blue rocks here, and they're so shocking. Imagine if this was in real life, then you'd get like so shocked. You'd be like this. Oh man, that hurts. That hurt. I'm getting away from this Charged Stone Cave. So basically, you have to push these electric. Gemstones, sort of, if you want to say, say it like that. Here you can pick up a full heal. And uh, first off, let's check my team real quick. Okay, everyone's at level, um, only Dragonfly and Shellblade are at level 35, so Ryu, Bolt, and Gatorade need to train a little bit. So why don't we do that? Let's just go up here. Use another Repel. And uh, in order to get there, I don't know how to do it. Okay, if there's the entrance. There's a dust cloud. Ah, oh, man, it's a wild Pokemon battle. Let's see what it is. Ah, oh, I knew it. It's a Drillbur. Yeah, if you go into one of those dust clouds, they can sometimes be wild Drillbers. And you can also find, like, shards and any of the type gems, which basically power up a move one for once. Okay. Um, I don't know where to push this thing. Ah, okay. So we do have some trainers in here. Oh, I think this is another rocker. Yeah, it's another rocker. I guess you come from the Verbank gym, maybe, if you're a rocker. Guitarist. 
Oh, and anyway, there's also one thing I forgot to say. Um, there is also one, uh, another new Pokemon you can find here in the Chartstone Cave, and it's actually the rarest that you can find here, and it's Tynamo, and it's a pure electric type. Not only does it is it pure electric type and weak to ground type moves, but it isn't. It is not weak against ground type moves. It has the levitate ability, so it pretty much has no weakness. And um, and it's a one percent encounter rate. If you guys are looking for a Tynamo, I was about to use Tynamo on my team actually, but sadly, I replaced it with. Um, I replaced it with Electabuzz, sadly, just because I like um, Electivire, that's why I'm using Electabuzz, and also to remember Paul from the anime. I don't know when he's going to come back. I'm hoping that for the final episode of, um, for the final episode of Black and White, they put like, of, yeah, Black and White, they put like, um, they put like Ash versus Paul for the second like for the Unova League. You know, actually Ash is gonna enter the Unova League pretty soon. I don't know when. And um, also, not only is Antinamo, um isn't a, actually a 1% encounter rate, there's actually gonna be, um, in the down floor there's actually, um, you can find Tynamo there also, but it's an 8% encounter rate. So anyway, um, this is actually the first Magneton that we get to see in the game, and he's using the next attack, and um, and Magneton is a special attacker, not a physical attacker. And as you can see there, it had Sturdy, so it always lives with 1 HP if I try to 1 it KO it. Wow, we get a crap load of XP for that. Alright, so let's go back this way. And up here, you can pick up a Hyper Potion. Oh, it's another Dust Cloud. Aw oh, man, why are they always wild battles? I was at least hoping that, that it was going to be like... Um, I was hoping that it would be like a, like a shard or something, because I really need some blue shards, because I want to give Dragonfly Dragon Pulse pretty soon. Ah, did not mean to push it there. So now I think we have to push this one down here. There we go. Use another Repel. There we go, this one isn't a Drillbur. Instead it's a Water Gem. So let's go up here. Um, let's go down here, and wow, it's a bridge, but we're not gonna go there just yet. We're gonna check out, we're gonna check out this part here instead, before going there. What? Why isn't this one working? Oh, okay, we have to go from the other side then. Oh, it's another water gem. Anyway, well, let's just go up this bridge right here. Formulas express the forces behind electricity and its connection to Pokemon and humans and Pokemon themselves. This. This is my ideal place. I have to go. But who is that? Who who the heck was that really? Oh, it's another dust cloud. Ah great. It's another drill where it's 100 percent encounter rate that you will find these things in dust clouds. Let's run away from it. Alright, so let's go down here. Um, we do have a trainer right here, which we will actually do. Why not? Because I want um, Ryu to get a level up. Since all of my Pokemon are actually are close to level um, 36. And oh my gosh, I forgot this was a rotation battle. But anyway, this guy has a um, um, has three Pokemon. Um, the first one is Clink, which I was just talking about. 
Um, the second one is an unpheasant, which is actually the first one we get to see in the game. And um, the third one is um, a sand slash, which we've already seen. And I'm switching out Dragonfly here. I'm going to go into Gatorade. So we're just going to get an Intimidate off. Hopefully it will be in the clink. On, man. So it wasn't on the clink. Let's go for Shockwave. And that takes it out. Aw, oh, man, we were... I thought it would... I thought it died there, but it didn't. Come on, don't kill me. Oh! Oh man, just killed me with an air slash right there. And I'm gonna switch out, because it has Dig. I'm gonna go to Dragonfly. Yeah, let's go to Dragonfly. Maybe, in case it goes for Dig. I'll just go to Shellblade, maybe. Since Shellblade is also close to evolving. And Dragonfly, you're gonna go for uh, Dragon Breath on the Sand Splash, maybe. So let's kill this thing with a Shockwave. Which will take it out. Wow! Look at that, lots of experience points. And dig, this might kill me. Wow! So it didn't. Oh, well, I'm not gonna go for Surf, I'm gonna go for Water Pulse. Let's go for a uh, Low Kick. And let's go for a... Uh, uh, no, Rock Slide! I'm such an idiot. Why did I use Rock Slide there? Just because I felt like it. So let's go for a Water Pulse, and that takes out the Sand Slash. Man, I don't know why Gatorade got taken out so easily. Let's heal it up. Okay, so we have three revives. Let's use one on Gatorade. And we're also going to use a Hyper Potion, since we have five of them. Let's use them on both Bolt and Gatorade. And I'm going to put, um... Now let's put Gatorade up front. Let's check how much experience points. Oh, great. Let's put Ryu, I guess. Okay, so, um, let's see what's up here. Up here, you can pick up a magnet which powers up, um, electric type moves if you have any. If you have any electric type Pokemon. Alright, so let's go downstairs here. Now, um, this room right here is actually the room where Tynamo is more easier to find. On the top floor, Tynamo really is hard to find. So um, let's just go to Gatorade since this is a the Ryu and Gatorade since this is a double battle. What? Numb the Nugget Boy. I want to give you this, and he's gonna give us a nugget in case you're low on money, and then a big nugget which sells for even more money. Nugget about it. Oh, let's check that thing. Oh man, I knew it was going to be a wild battle. I will check all dust clouds in this. I'll, I will check all dust clouds just because I really need some shards. Because there will soon be a move tutor that I want to go to. And what does this lead to? Oh, okay. Are you a trainer? Beautiful stones. Okay. I live here. From now on, my home will be here. Okay. Are you a trainer? I knew it. Oh, it's a Pokemon Ranger. Haven't seen any of those for a long time now. 
Alright, so only one Pokemon, and that's an Ampharos. Which is also a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. And like I've said, it's an electric type, and um, they are weak against ground type moves. So let's go to Gatorade. And go for a dig. And hopefully that'll it's gonna take it out. So try to use Thunder Punch on me. But it doesn't work on Gatorade. And let's go for a dig. And it tried to confuse me right there. Oh man, we didn't take it out. Because it does also have really good defense and special defense, I think. Since I know it isn't that fast, and also has really good special attack. And there we go, a dig takes it out, but unfortunately it has static. Which just paralyzed me right there. And Ryu finally grows a level. You know what, I think I'll give the experience share to Bolt to uh, Dragonfly, or da, 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 da. but whatever, he's going to give us a Chesto Berry, and then um, let's just put um, Gatorade, and I'm going to give the experience share to Bolt, maybe. Let's give it, and where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. And let me also heal up Bolt. Or no, Gatorade. Why am I mixing up? Let's use a Paralyze Heal. And there we go. Oh, can't go down there. There's only two trainers in here. So let's go back down here. Alright, so let's see what's up here. Oh, so we have some train a trainer there, I see. What? Oh. Okay, whatever. Well, anyway, let's see how many Pokemon this doctor has, because I really need to heal up my team. And Solosis. I thought this thing would actually be evolved by now. I'm actually not sure what level Solosis evolves at. But, whatever. It's because it evolves into Duoseon, I think that's how you pronounce it. Duosion, I think. And then Reuniclus. But it's kind of like a more bulkier version of Abra. Sort of. And a Gafita. I think that's how you pronounce it. They pronounce it like that in the anime. Let's go for Crunch. And that takes it out. So let's hope that she's going to heal us up right here. Healthy and hearty. Up here, you can pick up an iron. And let's go up here. Let's see what's in here. Oh man, I forgot about this scientist right here, but whatever. Gatorade will still get some experience. Both Bolt and Gatorade. And look at that, this is actually the first Joltik we get to see in the game. Like I've said, it's bug and electric type, so they might have like some moves that are super effective against me. And as you can see, it has the Unnerve ability, which prevents you from using any berries. Let's go for Rock Tomb. Oh, why did we miss? Why did we miss? Whatever. With Gastro Acid, that just removes your ability. Why the heck is it missing all the time? Okay, let's keep on trying more Rock Tombs. There we go. I don't know why the heck it missed right there. Probably it's holding like a bright powder or something. Slash shouldn't do too much since Jiltik's more of a special attacker, not a physical attacker. And another rock tomb takes it out. Ah, oh, Gatorade, why didn't you grow a level? Well, whatever. 
Now this is, well, no, this isn't, this isn't the first goal that we get to see. Oh, why are, why are we missing all the time? Gatorade, why the heck am I missing all the time? But whatever, it's just gonna confuse me right there. Let's go to Dragonfly instead, and then go for Rock Slide, which is, I think is more accurate than Rock Tomb. So, I'm hoping I'm faster than it, which I am, and hopefully this will take it out. Ah! I don't know why it didn't. So, let's just go for another rock slide, maybe. And that takes it out. And Gatorade grows a level, which is really cool. So, now let's put Bolt. Er, let's see how much experience points Bolt needs to the next level. Okay. So let's put Shell Blade up front, maybe. See how much experience points you need. Okay. Because at the next level, Shell Blade's gonna evolve. Well, let's not go that way. And we have another trainer here, which is actually gonna be the last one I'll do here. Since we are running running out of time. So this is actually gonna be the last trainer I'm, that I'll officially do here. And I don't know why we're seeing a ton of these Minchinos in here. We should see Chinchinos, I guess. Whatever, I think Surf should take it out. Let's see if it does, and it does. And lastly is an Excadrill, which we have fought these things before. At the Driftvale City Gym, we fought them. And like I've said, they're really fast and they're kind of like a more bulkier version of Sand Slash. Which, um, they are also really good physical attackers. But a Surf takes it out. Aw, oh, Shell Blade, you didn't get a level up right there. I will become the wind and blow. And then, she's gonna give us another Chesto Berry. Alright, so... I think I am going to end it off right here. So next time, we're, we're gonna continue on the Charged Stone Cave and we'll eventually arrive at Miss Dralton City. Alright, I'll see you guys then.